Hi, my name is Teresa, and I'm going to be in the story share for the book Something from Nothing by Phoebe Gilman. I loved this book growing up. I got really excited because I recently found it in a used bookstore, and I bought it immediately. When I was a child, I loved the illustrations, and that's one of the big things with Phoebe Gilman, is that she is an illustrator, and so she has beautiful, very, very detailed illustrations that really tell the story. You can really follow along with what's going on just by looking at the story. But I also remember watching this, or sorry, having this story read to, to me as a child as um, part of a group and sitting in the back of the class and not actually being able to see all of the detail and everything that's going on. So I decided to do a felt board to also illustrate what was going on in the story. So I have my felt pieces and my felt board and then um, we're going to continue and I'm going to read the story, Something from Nothing. When Joseph was a baby, his grandfather made him a wonderful blanket to keep him warm and cozy and chase away the bad dreams. But as Joseph grew older, the wonderful blanket grew older too. One day, Joseph's mother said to him, Joseph, look at your blanket. It's frazzled, it's worn, it's unsightly, it's torn. It is time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the blanket, took the blanket and turned it round and round. Hmm, he said as his scissors went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out and in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful jacket. Joseph put on the wonderful jacket and went outside to play. But as Joseph grew older, the wonderful jacket grew older too. One day, Joseph's mother said to him, Joseph, look at your jacket. It's shrunken and small and doesn't fit you at all. It is time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the wonderful jacket and turned it round and round. Hmm, he said as his scissors went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out and in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful vest. Joseph wore the wonderful vest to school the very next day. But as Joseph grew older, the wonderful vest grew older too. Oh, Joseph fell down. Let's bring him back up here. There's his wonderful vest. One day, his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your vest. It's spotted with glue and there's paint on it too. It is time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the vest and turned it round and round. Hmm, he said as his scissors went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out and in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful tie. There's Joseph's tie. But as Joseph grew older, the wonderful tie grew older too. One day his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your tie. This big stain of soup makes the end of it droop. It is time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the wonderful tie and turned it round and round. Hmm, he said as his scissors went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out and in and out. There's just enough material here to make 
a wonderful handkerchief. Joseph took the wonderful handkerchief and used it to keep his pebble collection safe. But as Joseph grew older, the wonderful handkerchief grew older too. One day his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your handkerchief. It's been used till it's tattered, it's splotched, and it's splattered. It is time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the handkerchief and turned it round and round. Hmm, he said, as his scissors went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out and in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful button. Joseph wore the wonderful button on his suspenders to hold his pants up. One day, his mother said to him, Joseph, where is your button? Joseph looked. It was gone. Oopsies. He searched everywhere, but he could not find it. Joseph ran down to his grandfather's house. My button, my wonderful button is lost. His mother ran after him. Joseph, listen to me. The button is gone, finished kaput. Even your grandfather can't make something from nothing. Joseph's grandfather shook his head sadly. I'm afraid that your mother is right, he said. The next day, Joseph went to school. Hmm, he said, as his pen went scritch, scratch, scritch, scratch over the paper. There's just enough material here to make. A wonderful story. The end. So that was Something from Nothing by Phoebe Gilman. And these were the felt pieces that went along with it. So one of the, there's a couple extension activities that I could do with this assignment and I was very excited thinking about them. One of the reasons I decided to do a felt activity is because you could see um, the progression of the blanket going from big right here and getting smaller and smaller and smaller as the grandfather cuts the material away. And as adults, we understand that concept implicitly, but as children, that's something that they're learning about. So one of the extension activities would be which one was the biggest, what was the smallest um, of the, the, um, the things that Joseph's grandfather made. Um, ideally, because this is for my home, I only have this one, but ideally for an extension activity, there would be a long and um, sort of a bigger storyboard so that we could put in order Joseph's his, his um, coat, and then we can talk about well, what happens with the coat, how did it shrink, um, did Joseph, maybe it's that it just shrank, or what else could have happened to Joseph, maybe Joseph grew. Um, and then we could go to, as I said, the vest, and then it has the tie, and then after the tie is the pocket square, and then after the pocket square is the button, which is very small and easy to get lost. There's our button. And we can talk about, you know, that aspect. And then we, the other extension activity is um, growth. So we have Joseph as a baby. And then we see Joseph as a toddler, preschool, and school age, which was a coincidence and worked out really well. Um, and that's the other reason I really like this activity is because children can kind of identify at different stages of development, where Joseph is in development and the fact that they too are growing. We talk about um, which is the oldest and which is the youngest because baby Joseph in the crib, just because to make it um, be able to be seen, is actually bigger than toddler Joseph. So if we were to put things in order of bigger to smaller, some children may have that, that um, concept of putting this one as bigger which is fair and, and accurate. And then you would talk about well, which is older, who's the oldest, um, you know, what, what picture or what felt piece shows Joseph when he's the oldest and when he's the youngest. So those are kind of the things that we could talk about. Um, I also really liked looking at the fact that we have, so I'm gonna bring them forward. So this was the um, tie with the state of soup with the end of it on it drooping. 
Um, and one of the things that I would love to do as an extension activity to include the children, instead of me having them all here in my little book that I made to keep them, them safe, um, giving out, except for the button because that would get lost, but giving out all of the um, pieces. And then when you turn the page and say, oh, it was a wonderful coat, you'd say, okay, which friend who has a coat? And then the kid, the child can come up and, and put it on and then they have to identify and hold on and also keep very safe so you could have that kind of extension activity of the fact that I did make all of these and they are, you know, they, they can get ripped so I would need um, volunteers that could keep it very, very safe. Um, and then they would be able to come up and we would talk about well, which one and maybe two children have a, a, would have the coat and say, okay, well, which one does it look like the new coat? or the, especially the tie and the vest, because they actually do have things on top of them. Which one looks new? Which one looks maybe dirty? And then that child would be able to come up to the front um, and put the piece on top, which is another extent, extension activity that I thought would be fun. Um, so that was my presentation of Something From Nothing by Phoebe Gilman. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I realized as soon as I pressed stop that there was one other extension activity that I was very excited about. And rather than re-recording everything, I'm going to use my editing skills. One of the wonderful things about this story is that if you look in the bottom, there's these little pictures of the mice. And from the very, very beginning, we see the mice family here. Let's find the page. They move in. And so you see the, this mice family moving in under the floorboards of Joseph's house. And as the grandfather cuts the blanket off, the little pieces fall through the floorboard. And the family eventually uses all of these little pieces to furnish their house. So there you can see that they have, they've been very industrious little mice and they furnished and, and decorated their entire house using all of the scraps. And what's very interesting is at the end, what we find out is that when Joseph loses his button, the mice family actually find it, bring it home, and make themselves an easy chair out of it. It's a very, very sweet story. So that's one of the stories that if you actually follow along, there's no mention to it in, in the words at all, but in the pictures, there's a story. So we could talk about death. looking at the book. Are there any stories that we see that we didn't talk about or any stories that didn't use words um, and, and looking through story and storytelling solely through pictures. Another thing that's really interesting is, again, that, that Phoebe Gilman does very well, is as she's an artist, is um, telling the story through pictures and not through words. If we follow along, we can actually see Joseph's mother, um, Joseph mother's, Joseph's mother expecting, and then his father, who we see is a, um, is a cobbler, making shoes for the little one. And then there we see that there's a baby that's born. And throughout the story, we see Joseph's now younger sister grow up. So at the very, very end, we have another little toddler with her own little blanket. Um, at the very beginning, we also see Joseph making friends when he's wearing his new coat to a little girl. And that same girl we see throughout the entire story. So there's a couple instances of um, stories in this book that are not written. Um, so that would be a very, very interesting extension activity. And um, talking about that, um, looking at the pictures, especially here and saying, okay, well, what could be happening with Joseph's mother right now? Does she look the same or does she look different than she did in previous, in, in um, uh, previous illustrations and then discuss, well, why could that be? And engage children in that storytelling and saying, okay, well, let's, let's try to figure out what's happening. And then turning the pages and saying, oh, the dad's giving her little shoes. What do we think could be happening there? And having them use those critical thinking skills and that kind of cause and effect. And um, many children may have uh, had a um, pregnancy in their family or may have seen a family member or something they know go through pregnancy, so that might be something that they, they already know, but there are very many children that wouldn't have an idea of what that is, so that would be a great way to open up that storytelling and, and discuss and uh, see what's going on. So that was another extension activity I wanted to add, so thank you for listening. Bye. <laughs>